The Huawei Mate 80 series is getting closer to its official launch, and leaks are already stirring up a lot of discussion. While most people are expecting the new Kirin 9035G chip to power this lineup, things may not be so straightforward for the standard version of the Mate 80. According to new reports, Huawei is preparing something different for the vanilla Mate 80 model, and it might not be what fans were expecting. A well-known Weibo tipster, at Giyu Ojing, has shared some interesting information. He claims that the standard Huawei Mate 80 will not use the Kirin 9030 or even the Kirin 9020 processor. Instead, Huawei could introduce a brand new chip specifically for this device. This mysterious chipset is rumored to sit somewhere between the Kirin 9020 and the Kirin 9030 in terms of performance. In simple words, it won't be as powerful as the 9030, but it will still offer better performance than the 9020. This move isn't entirely new for Huawei. If we look back at its previous flagship lineups, the pattern becomes clear. Huawei usually reserves its top-end Kirin processors for the Pro, Pro Plus, and Ultra models, while the standard variants often run on slightly older or less powerful chips. For example, the Pure 70 Pro, Pro Plus, and Ultra all came with the Kirin 9010 5G, but the standard Pure 70 only featured the older 9000S one. The same strategy was seen in the Mate 70 lineup, where the Pro models shipped with the Kirin 9020, but the regular Mate 70 used the Kirin 9010 instead. Now, with the Mate 80 series, Huawei seems to be trying something new. Instead of recycling last year's chipset for the standard model, the company could be launching a fresh version of its Kirin processor that's tailored for this device. While we don't yet know the official name of this new chip, online discussions have already started throwing out guesses. Some fans are calling it the Kirin 9020S, others suggest names like 9030L, 9100, 9020A, or even 9030E. Whatever the final name turns out to be, the general expectation is that it will deliver performance similar to the 9020, but with slight improvements, to make it feel more up-to-date. What makes this leak interesting is the timing. The May 80 launch is not too far away, and the chipset mystery has created a lot of curiosity among fans. Huawei has a strong tradition of using its Mate series to showcase the latest in mobile hardware, and the processor plays a huge role in shaping the overall experience. So, if Huawei does decide to introduce a brand new chip just for the standard model, it could be a smart way to keep the lineup fresh and balanced. On the other side, the high-end Mate 80 Pro, Pro Plus, and Ultra are still expected to come with the Kirin 9030, Early reports suggest that this processor will deliver at least 20% better performance compared to the previous Kirin 9020. That means smoother gaming, faster app loading, and better handling of demanding tasks like 4K video recording or AI-powered features. If the Pro models get this upgrade, Huawei will definitely have a strong lineup to compete with rivals like Samsung, Apple, and Xiaomi. It's also important to note that Huawei isn't just relying on chipsets to boost performance. The company has been focusing on improving hardware components and software optimization. Better cooling systems, refined camera algorithms, and smarter energy management are all expected to play a role in the Mate 80's overall performance. This combination of hardware and software enhancements could make even the standard model stand out, despite it not having the Kirin 9030 at the moment. All of this information comes from leaks and speculation. Huawei hasn't confirmed anything officially, so the exact details of this new chip are still under wraps. But if history is anything to go by, Huawei will make sure that even the vanilla Mate 80 feels powerful enough for everyday users, while keeping the top-end models reserved for those who want the very best performance. As we move closer to the launch, more leaks and hints are sure to surface. The big question is whether Huawei will stick to its tradition of giving the standard Mate model a slightly weaker chip, or if this new processor will finally change that perception. Either way, the Mate 80 lineup is shaping up to be one of Huawei's most interesting releases yet. So, to sum it up, the standard Huawei Mate 80 may not get the Kirin 9030 like the Pro versions, but instead, it could debut with a fresh Kirin processor that sits between the 9020 and 9030 in performance. It may not break records, but with Huawei's ongoing work on hardware and software improvements, the device could still deliver a smooth and reliable flagship experience. With the official announcement expected soon, fans won't have to wait too long to find out the truth behind this mysterious new chip. Until then, the speculation and excitement around the Mate 80 series continue to grow, keeping Huawei at the center of attention in the smartphone world.